What's up YouTube? It's your boy Juicy Jeff and I'm back with another video. Today is a very special day. Well, it's one of the many days that I'm going to be having until I reach my goals and reach my dreams. Um, so basically what's going on today guys is I have an interview for a job. Now, it's not just any job. It's a job I've been thinking about for a while. Um, I heard a quote that stuck with me a long time ago, and the guy was like, the worst thing you can do in life is end up knowing you got good at the wrong thing. And that's damn true. So you want to try to like experiment as much as you can with what you want to do because I mean guys how crazy is it every day you wake up you have the whole day and you do something with the day that's how life goes that's the only way to really you know get through life in a decent way and trust me I've tried the other way of doing nothing all day and thinking that that's going to make me happy it really doesn't it doesn't do anything for you when you sit around all day and just look at your phone and think oh man this is great you know my grandpa, I don't like to talk shit on my family members, but he's a kind of an example. I don't know how the fuck he does it, but he's off a of disability. He's not even injured or hurt or anything like that. And he just does fuck all, all day, every day. And he, you know, now he's almost 90, but he's done that for 40 years. And it's like, that's not me, man. If I am not working or I'm not like pursuing something, I am miserable. So even when I wasn't working or I had time off, um, I would always be doing hobbies, you know, I was skating, I was doing all these things, but anyway, nothing feels better in life than actually working, so even if you do retire early, you think that's what you want, hey man, you're gonna be, <laughs> unless you're mentally twisted, man, working actually is something that you should enjoy, so I'm coming to terms with that, and it's honestly, dude, it feels good to work, it feels good to work, working hard, awesome but I get it man the main human <clears throat> the human um, <clears throat> the way the human is we we think we don't want to work you know because we're ultimately lazy everyone's lazy and like on the inside <clears throat> we all have a little bit of lazy in us and so you might think, oh, it's really hard to fight that laziness, but after you get in the routine and you get in the rhythm of doing it, it's not hard at all. It's actually enjoyable. Now, like, you know, a couple of years ago, I would have thought, man, I don't want to work today. Now, I love going to work. And there's a lot of reasons why you should love going to work. First of all, for me, at least, it builds confidence. Second of all, it obviously gets your money back right. It builds your finances. And third of all, you're overall happier when you're being productive and working. It's just the way it is, man. So I've had a lot of jobs so far in my life. I've uh, done cooking jobs. I've done maintenance at condominiums. I've done construction, which I didn't like at all. I hate construction. And I've done, what else? I worked on a farm as my first job. I've worked fast food few fast food places food has been a big um industry for me i've been working in the food industry for a while that's probably my most experiences in the food industry so very recently um well about when i was back in back when i was 21 22 i uh, was working detailing boats and i didn't take it seriously you know what i mean i was smoking weed you know after work with with uh, some of my coworkers there just being a 21 year old you know what i mean um not not taking your job seriously and i see a lot of people not take their job seriously when they're younger and you know what i'm gonna say it that's fine if you're young like i'm working with some 17 year olds right now at the one of the at the job i have now and you know they don't really take their job seriously they, they're starting to because the boss called and pretty much said hey if i see you you know dicking around again you're fired um so they're starting to take it seriously but it, it doesn't i guess it doesn't um really affect you until you are out on your own and you actually need the money then of course you're going to take your job seriously so you know i take my job seriously now that i'm 28 
Um, but yeah, so I bounced around a lot of uh, cooking jobs and just trying to like figure this whole thing out. Like, what you know, what do I want to do? And I, I didn't really think I had anything I wanted to do until maybe a few years ago. I was starting to like morph something into my head. And, um, you know, I got this job here at the car detail place here in Sedona about six months ago. I've been working there about six months now. And that's six days a week about 50 hours a week, every week. So it's good hours and I'm getting tips. I'm getting like 50 to $100 a day in tips. So it's good ass money. But what's cool, the coolest part about it is I learned a lot about cars. I learned a lot about um, business basically. I've been learning a lot about business, a lot about cars. And I've come to the conclusion that I wanted to sell cars. That's kind of the career choice that I'm deciding for myself that I wanna do. So I've been kinda of prepping my mind, prepping myself um, to move forward with that because I'm very passionate about it. I can hype things up really well. You know, I, I would love to work for Toyota. That would be my dream. And I called Toyota and I was like, hey, you know, what do I got to do to sell cars for you guys? I'll sell you a Prius right now. It's pretty much what I said to the guy on the phone. I was like, let me speak to the sales manager. Let me let me sell a car to you. That's what they want to hear. They want to know that you can sell. You can be persuasive. Um, and the guy said, you know, unfortunately, man, we're pretty overstaffed with salesmen right now. And I can't really help you out. And then he said, but you know what? He said, you know what? My, our other company, uh, Honda, Finley Honda, they're looking for salespeople. So he said, go ahead and call them and tell them I sent you and see what's up. So I called them. I'm calling them in the middle of my shift at work too. I'm like in one of the vans I'm cleaning and I'm calling this uh, Honda place. And I get on the phone with a guy and right in the middle of me talking to him, I call drops, T-Mobile trash. They It just cuts out of me. So I had to call him back and I called him back the second I got the chance, you know, when I was in a vehicle again and I was cleaning it or, uh, driving it into the tunnel. And, um, I talked to the guy again and he's like, Hey, you know what? He's like, I'll give you a shot. Why don't you come in tomorrow at 11 and, uh, we'll see if we can make this work. Boom. And I was like, all right, cool. And so What's crazy is the boss I have now, he's pretty He's pretty insane. This guy's pretty much 90 years old. He got out of retirement to keep doing business. Um, him and his wife wanted to do this, uh, take over this car detail business. And they, they just love it. For some reason, they love it. They said it's the most rewarding thing they've ever done. And I'm telling you, my boss is 90 plus years old. And this guy is a monster. And he's so business oriented and business minded. And he's a little bit controlling at times. For instance, I called him and I was like, yesterday, he makes a schedule every night. He sends out a text message, group text schedule to everyone. So we don't know what time we're working until the night before. And that's every day. I've been doing that for six months. And so last night, you know, hey man, if he's gonna make the schedule like that, I'm gonna make my schedule and tell him, you know, when I'm doing stuff. So I've been taking a little more control on that. And that's good because it's my life and I need to go the direction I need to go. So last night I called him, I was like, hey, Bill, um, you know, I got an appointment at 11 tomorrow. So I, you know, I can't come in until about one because the appointment's about 45 minute drive from Sedona, it's in Flagstaff. And he's like, what? He's like, you can't do that. He's like, you know how much that messes things up? And I, I'm like, dude. You know, like it's, I, I pretty much told him, I was like, it's non-negotiable. I'm going to this. I didn't tell him it was a job interview. You know, you never want to say that, but at the same time, it could be good to say that because I'm sure he'd want to leverage to give me more money to, for me to stay. But no amount of money is going to make me stay right now, guys, at the job I have now. If I get the offer um, to go try car sales, I'm going to go try car sales. That's the bottom line for me right now, so. I got the uh, interview at 11. I'm trying to take some pressure off. That's why I'm talking, doing this video. And I think I'm gonna go up and play some basketball and uh, walk around. I'm gonna take some magnesium. 
relax my nerves a little bit. I'm going to keep drinking water. That's one of the best things to relax your nerves. And ultimately, guys, I'm just going to be myself and sell myself. The best thing you can do at a job interview is just be yourself and let them get to know you as much as possible. If you're confident being yourself and you're not a piece of shit and you're not a lazy motherfucker, you show them, hey, this is me, because they're trying to figure out who you are. But at the same time, uh, uh, the good thing I learned is, uh, you know, they're interviewing you, but at the same time, you are interviewing them. So, hey, if the manager I'm talking to seems like a complete asshole and it seems like a shitty place to work, I ain't going to work there. I'll just, I'll just walk out knowing I'm not going to work there. But, you know, if they seem like normal people and decent people, hey, man. You know, this is this has been a thing I've been thinking about for a while. And really, guys, you know what's crazy is I was looking and looking for opportunities on Indeed and Craigslist and looking online for job opportunities. I didn't find any. So what I did, it, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to call the dealerships. Boom. And then I got an opportunity. So if you want something in life, guys, sometimes it's literally a phone call away. Um, which is insane. So all you got to do is pick up the phone and call change your life one phone call um, So the cool thing is guys even if it doesn't work out. I already have a job that um, I'm making decent money I might not love it, but it's still one of the stepping stones to a different job So never forget it guys no matter what you're doing It's always practice for the big show you're working at McDonald's work hard at that job you're working at Subway, work hard at that job. I've done jobs like these. And I see kids that are just, they got their AirPods, they got their Apple Watch, you know, but they're fucking lazy ass workers and their parents are shitty ass parents. If your kid's lazy, that's your parents' fault. And you know, at a certain age, it's the kid's gonna realize he's lazy. And then, you know, then it's up to him or her to decide to be a better person. No one likes lazy people, man. There was, a, there was a kid that was working with us at the detail place. He would just, you tried to get him to work, this dude would move so slow, you know, 18 years old. He should be full of energy. He should be moving. Everyone's running laps about him. And then they see him posting his tips online, flexing his money online. Stealing from us, basically. So anyway, guys, that's the video today. Um, big day for me today. We'll see if I can get this job. If I can't, whatever, I'm going to go apply to a nut for another sales position in the future. It's what I want to do. So if you know what you want to do, you got to go after it. You guys stay motivated in life. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got van lifers behind us. They've opened the forest back up again. So that one is popping off again. Even if I stay at this job, I'm making a hundred bucks in tips a day. Plus my hourly, plus my overtime. And everything's stacking up and everything is getting good. So you guys are the best. I love you guys. Wish me luck. And I'll talk to you guys later.